Hello everybody, welcome back to The Way That I See It. My name is Lucy Sue Fox and this is my podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, then welcome. And as you'll see tonight, I am pretty much bare face, no makeup. I had a full on day today, my niece is here. So if you hear any wild screaming, then um, my <laughs> six year old niece is here. But I wanted to jump on and do this because I've had such an interesting kind of day. I'm going to talk a little bit about money. I'm going to talk a little bit about why people quit, whatever it is they're following in life. And a little bit about the kind of concept of manifestation, because these are things that have been really permeating my space and my world recently. And they're things that I feel really passionate about, things that I feel like I'm really good at um, explaining, but also things I'm really good at experiencing and living. So first things first, let's talk a little bit about what happened today. So basically, I've been teaching on money in my private Facebook group, the Next Level Life of Lucy Superbox, for a little while. For the last couple of weeks, I've been sharing kind of top tips, wisdom on money. And this week, I've been taking people through a step process. So you can go check that out. You can check it out on Facebook. It's also in the link in my link trees on both Instagrams. So yeah, I've got my free Facebook group and I've been just talking about stuff in there. And today I was talking to my brother and sister through some of the things that I have been teaching about, some of the things that I've been sharing and some of the things that I have learned to be true about money over the last couple of years. And so I was sharing this and I said to them, I said, you know, it's like people ask for more money and they're so vague, you know, they find 20p on the ground and they're like, and what? And they think nothing of it. Well, you ask for more money and the universe delivered. Or they find a five or a pack, pocket of jeans or a handbag and they think, oh, it's only a fiver. When actually you ask for more money and you got it. Now, 30 minutes later, my brother and sister take my niece to the park and my mum and I take her dog and my two dogs to out for a walk in the car. Now I've needed to replace the key battery, the battery in my key, my car key for a while. But I decide today of all days, of all days, I decide today is the day to replace my key battery. So I replace this key battery, I fanny around with a knife and getting it in there and the Mercedes key is like, literally like Fort Knox, right? So I'm plugging it in, I get it in. And then I also, if you see on YouTube, wear my Apple watch again, tracking my steps. I've done 14,500 today, got 500 to go, welcome down the stairs. Um, <laughs> but in all seriousness, so doing this key battery, get back in my car, and I basically, I've taken this, because I'm a key battery died, I took the start stop button off. So anyone has got a start stop button, you can actually just remove the button and use the key as an electronic key. So I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks. And anyway, so I put this, I'm looking for the start stop button, I think it must be in the glove box. Not the glove box, the, what's that thing called? The armrest. So I'm in the armrest. I look for it. It's a five pound note. And in the story, the two figures I used was 20p and a five pound note. So I found five pound note, thought nothing of it. Get back. My sister says, oh my God, you never guess what I found in the park. 20p. Mind blown. But this is the point. The universe works fast and we're having fun. When we're in a high energy, when we're trusting, when we have no resistance, when we're not blocked to the things that we want, the universe responds to that. And honestly, that's all that's happened for me is today is that I told those stories, I told them with joviality and fun. They were lighthearted. My sister and brother didn't have any blocks around five pound or 20p. And so that's why they appeared in their psyche and why they were able to see them. Because I also believe an element of manifestation is simply what you put in your filter, what you put in that particular activating system allows you to see things differently. So anyway, that's a fun fact for your manifestation. But I think where that ties really nicely into the money mindset work I've been doing is really talking about two key principles when it comes to money that I'm really passionate about. And one is what you're available for, what you're ready for, what you're open to, what you feel you're worthy of. And secondly, is ultimately the beliefs and stories and the narrative that you have around money and the limits that you hold around money. Because I think there's a difference. I think people think they might be available to earn six figures, but they can still be in a shit ton of debt because they have a narrative and a story around that. But you can also earn six figures and not have any debt, or you can earn six figures and spend it all. You can have six, earn six figures and save it all. Like, I think there's, a t there's two sides to this. So for me, personally, there are two relationships or two narratives or two things we need to work on. So the first one is what we're available for, what we're open to. And that's ultimately what your goal is and what you feel you're ready for and what you feel you're worthy of. The second piece is the stories, the narrative, the behaviors, the mindset, the habits that you have around money. And this is what I've been working in my free Facebook group all about. So make sure to go join that. I'll pop the link below as well if you haven't already. But one of the biggest things for me is that what people try to do is they might increase their availability for the amount of money that they earn. But if they're not transforming the stories, the beliefs, the behaviors, the patterns about you know, how they spend, how they behave, what money means, what people with money are like, they're not transforming that side of the story then actually they will never have enough because 
if they want more and more money, but actually they haven't changed the behaviors, the mindset, the habits, they're not going to end up with more than they have before. They'll just be broke on a whole new level. Right. And so what I really encourage people to do is do the two sides. And basically it's just cleaning up your side of the street. And I am a big believer in the universe. I am a big believer in manifestation, but I don't believe manifestation is some woo-woo spiritual process. I really believe that manifestation is simply being really clear on what you want, being really clear on what you're available for, setting your intentions, setting your energy and taking inspired action and doing that repeatedly enough that over time, not only do you create momentum in the direction of your goals and dreams, which I've talked about before, but also you make it really clear and really obvious to people what you want and what you're looking for. And then your reticular activating system can line up with that. And then the universe or God or whatever you choose to believe in can line up with that too. And so for me, when it comes to kind of money manifestation, it's no different from manifesting love, a relationship. It's just what you've got stories and beliefs around. So if you've got more negative stories around love and what you're worthy of and men and, or women or whatever you, you know, either or, right? You know, if you've got negative stories and beliefs around that, that's where you're going to find most resistance. If you've got negative stories around, around money, that's where you're going to find most resistance. You've got negative stories around your body, ne limiting beliefs around how you look and how you feel in yourself and your behaviors with food. That's also, you know, ultimately got more resistance around it. So what I always urge people is to really do this work, to look at both what you're available for and what you're worthy of. But in addition to that, the behaviors, the habits, the mindset around that. And this is why, you know, I do what I do. This is why I've created my courses. You know, Next Level Life looks at every single module in detail. So there's a whole module specific around money. But if you're looking for a more low cost option, then the Build Your Belief Bundle is where it's at. It's £279, five modules, four bonuses, a task book for every single module. And what that comes with is you basically go into that bundle and decide, I'm going to do this bundle around money. You can then come back to it and do it around love. You can come back to it and do it around body. And within the bonuses, I share with you my money story. I share with you how I've earned money, how I've transformed my money story over the last few years. So for me, like, this is why I do what I do because I go on my journey and then I've just shared my journey. That's simply all I've ever done is share the things that I've learned, the experiences I've had, how I've changed, how I feel, how I think and paid that forward. And that to me is all a coach ever needs to do is to be able to share their experience, their wealth and their wisdom. And, you know, I was saying to a client this morning, I only ever attract clients who are going through something I've been through. I don't believe that we attract people outside of our zone of genius i don't believe we attract people outside of our zone of knowledge or realm of capability i believe that we are exactly where we're supposed to be at the exact right time because we are always attracting right so we're always going to attract to the previous version of ourselves because sometimes it takes the universe time to figure out the current version of who we are and the current version of people we need to coach and i truly believe that if you're someone that invests in growth then you're investing in a next level life and you know, for me, this is what I've always cared about. And it's not because I always need more. I'm never satisfied. It's because I truly believe if there is more, and it's not about stuff and things, but stuff and things are nice too, hey? Right? It's not always about that. But for me, it's about if I can grow, if I can keep growing, if I can keep challenging myself, if I can keep becoming a next level person, then why would I not do that? And that for me is what my whole mission has always been about. So circling and bringing that back to kind of, you know, what I shared in an email that went out today. So if you're, again, not on my email list, make sure to jump on. You can go to lucysuperfox.com. The button will pop up. And you can subscribe to my mailing list where I share kind of my blogs, my thoughts, ideas. And they're rare that I share those on social media. They're kind of where I'm at in the moment when I send it. So today I shared about why most people quit. And I honestly believe it's because they set intentions, they get really clear on what they want, and they expect the manifestation to happen instantly. They expect the world to rotate on its axis, turn everything in the opposite direction and go, here you go. I mean, get a grip, right? Like sometimes the universe needs time to change things up, switch things up, give the clients that you want to gain the money to have them. Or, you know, you set a goal to earn everything by the 20th of the month, but no one gets paid till the 28th, right? And this isn't about you setting yourself and restricting yourself by rules or logic, but this is about giving, you know, setting your intentions, being clear about what you want, but then giving space and room for the universe or God or whatever you choose to believe in to do the work, to have its thing. And so for me, one of the biggest reasons people quit is they're looking for that certainty. They're looking for logic. They're looking for predictability. They're looking for probability. But as I said in my email, right, there is no such thing as a maths equation in life. Like life is not linear. Life is not logical. Life is not practical. You know, life is what we make it. And I think the challenge is that people are looking for that predictability in life. And what comes with being a human being is that change is inevitable. Death is inevitable. And that they are the only two certainties we will ever, ever have. We have to create certainty by the nature of trusting in our habits, trusting in our beliefs, trusting in our behaviors, and having faith that the things that we want and desire will come to fruition because we've done the work to believe that we're worthy. We've done the work on our limiting beliefs to address what isn't serving us or what is holding us back. 
And ultimately that we, we trust and have faith that if we do that long enough over time, that the manifestations or the things we desire will show up for us. And it's about surrendering into that faith, surrendering into that place. And surrender does not mean giving up. Surrender means releasing the need to control, releasing the need to have the how. And, you know, I'm a control freak, right? I freaking love to be in control. I love to know how to do things, when, why, the detail. Like I'm an event manager, right? So I love the detail, but the reality is the best things in my life have had nothing to do with control. They were unpredictable. They were completely out of nowhere. They were improbable. And they happened because I set an intention. I was clear about what I wanted in the universe to live in. And I made space and room for the universe to deliver that. And so the reason that people quit is because they're waiting. They're not trusting and having faith. You know, there's a, a great quote. I think it's from A Course in Miracles that says, those, are certain of the out those who are certain of the outcome can afford to wait and wait without anxiety. And that doesn't mean patience. That doesn't mean have patience, right? Patience just means I'm waiting around for someone to do it for me, right? I believe that we take inspired action from staying in faith, staying in trust, staying in there, setting our intentions, knowing what we want, moving forward in that direction every single day and trusting that, that will be enough, that grace will fill in the gaps, that whether you believe in God, the universe, you believe in higher powers, that something else will fill in. And if you don't believe in those things, honestly, this is what's going to happen. If you just believe in you, you will always feel a heavy weight of responsibility, a heavy need to control, and an overwhelming responsibility for every single thing that happens in your business, your life, your relationships, everything. And when you surrender that, oh, I tipped my mic, sorry, I felt super loud. If, so when you surrender that and surrender the fact that there's only certain things within your control and that you need to focus on what you can control and not what you can't, but what you can control, not with obsession or compulsion or a regressive kind of uh, manipulation, but with trust and with faith and with great energy and with passion and desire. And this is why, you know, I've talked loads about this on social media. If you've missed it, where the fuck have you been, right? This is not about shoulds. This is not about supposed to. This is not about the right thing to do. This is not about the next thing to do. This is not about feeling like you have any responsibility to do anything other than whatever the fuck it is that you want. Like I am sat as someone right now who has been through an, an avalanche and a turbulent time over the last three months emotionally. I've been toiling with emotions, with things like shame and fear and self, you know, self-loathing and other things that just weren't familiar to me in 2020. 2021 fucked me up. You know, I showed up, I did what I could, I was not on my best and 2021 just fucked me up. I was fuming that we were still in lockdown. And this is not about my beliefs around the pandemic. This is just, I couldn't physically deal, right? I my dad was really sick, you know, lots of change was happening, things weren't going the way I wanted, but this because I was, the reason I wasn't allowing things to flow in my life is because I was trying to control them, and I fell into a state of negativity, I tried to control everything, I tried to obsess everything, I tried, and when I actually just surrendered it all the fuck up in November, everything started to shift, the mini courses came to mind, the Build Your Belief Fund, or Ultimate Mindset Maker for Entrepreneur Evolution, Next Level Life got a refresh, I created four bonus modules, I redid the website, I went in a whole new direction around shame, which I know resonated with so freaking many of you, right? And then I've released all this stuff and I'm in a completely new place. My, my income and my earnings have doubled across everything I do. And that's significant, right? So what I earn is significant. And so to double it is significant, right? And that's come from a place of flow and ease and energy and trust and inspiration. It's not come from a place of control or manipulation. And so I guess, you know, as a bit of a, a, a mashup, kind of podcast this week what I want to share with you is just to really if you are somebody that wants to manifest and manifest just a word for create a different life take your life to the next level change something is number one is get really really clear on what you want and sometimes that takes that's the biggest work number two is really just align your worth align your self-beliefs with that and if you need some help check out lucytufox.com forward slash courses the build your belief bundle if you can use it you can channel it into specific things and next level life is your baby if you're looking to make a whole 360 life transformation and when you have done those two things three then it's about stepping into that inspired action and focusing only on what you can control and being able to surrender give it up trust it leave it out there whatever phrase you want to use on all of the other pieces that are outside of your realm of control or your sphere of influence. So that was my podcast for this week, short and sweet, straight to the point, a little bit tired, but definitely in flow. I hope that you have had the most amazing month so far. I hope that you've had the most amazing week so far. I hope that wherever you're at in your life right now, you are in pursuit of a next level life. This was the way that I see it. And I'll see you on the next episode.